Hey guys, just a quick um, do a little thing on this art bag here that I have. It's not really a art bag per se. It's a I don't remember if I ever made a video on it, but it's just a Stanley tool bag. And you can see I got some markers. This little this is like a little toothbrush case. It's got a bunch of pencils in there. Some color pencils here. Some H level pencils some more markers more pencils and then the side got some crayons more markers along the edges here there's like little compartments to put you know tools in so that they stay in place and I just got them loaded up with markers I got some mechanical pencils on this side I think Helix mechanical pencils. I got prism markers. I got rose color markers. I got some cheap crayons from dollar store. Uh, some fabric markers I haven't used yet. I also got a bunch of Sharpie color markers. And I even got the uh, those fiber castell manga pens I've tried using them they're not they're not to my liking um, one pen I not pen but been using this thing here it's pretty cool it's a Japanese uh, Tombow thing it's used for uh, coating your rubber stamps and then you can make your stamps with it but I've been using it as an inking tool works pretty good uh, the thing I didn't learn, um, well, I learned the hard way, was that uh, the ink on it does not dry very fast. So you do want to be able to work on a place where you can let it sit before you touch it. Uh, other, as far as like for the markers, I got a mix of Rose, Crayola, I even have a liquid mark. Those are hard to find as far as for like individual retail sales but the whole reason why i want to use them is because 70 percent of all look and marks products are all made in the united states so um as far as for color crayola ones here then i got uh, this brand from the dollar store um good old values i guess is the brand name and these actually uh worked pretty good the um, color part of it uh, is a pretty is a, is a harder a harder piece compared to like the Crayola brand. The Crayola ones, you're always like you start coloring with them, you're down to the nib real quick. For some reason, the the nib, the when you sharpen these, the point stays pretty hard throughout the whole piece. Um, so. Yeah, there's some, also there should be some, these are paint markers here. I got Elmer's brand. These have been working pretty good. Uh, the one brand that's now is this Delk Deco Color. I don't know what it is with the fine tip paint markers that I'm using, but I barely even get one application out of them and the tip gets screwed up. I can't do any, uh, painting with it all it does is just slides on the on the medium and doesn't apply any any of uh, the paint so either I'm applying these onto the wrong kind of uh, surface like what I was trying to do was add some white highlight to this artwork here and this is trying to add some white highlights and it could barely even get it to apply on it. And I shook the heck out of the out of the paint marker and depressed it like two or three times. And then it started to flow okay, but once I applied it to this piece here, it got screwed up. And I don't know if it's because of the colored pencil that was used and then I was trying to slide it on top. You can see I got a bunch of it on my finger here this white paint 
and so I don't know these fine tip paint markers are really ticking me off I bought one that was uh, sharpie and that one bit the big one real quick it actually exploded this one doesn't even work but all it does is just depressed it but and if I keep on adding pressure to it well then eventually a bunch of it will come out but I can't get these stupid things that work and then, you know this is like six bucks for these things so I'm a little upset the, che the Elmer's brand is actually the only one that's been working the best for me but I have not been able to get a hold of a fine tip Elmer's paint marker to compare with the other two fine tip ones I've used being the Delco and the Sharpie one but both of them just went to hell in a handbasket with me the first time I used them I mean I never even got a second use out of the Sharpie one and this one I didn't even get the first use out of it and it got screwed up so I'm not out of products to buy I'm not happy with these paint markers again it's probably it may be my use they may not have been intended to go on top over a crayon color pencil surface but that was the purpose why I bought it uh, so anyways you got to see the one project I worked on I think I did that Monday Tuesday another little Halloween thing show you some of my other thumbnails I've done that's just a thumbnail line art sketch been kind of having a fun time drawing a bunch of winged stuff I know like the wings and hearts are nothing new but I've been having a lot of fun drawing those bat wing with eye another wing with heart so anyways pretty much that's it just my main thing was just to rant about these paint markers I don't know if it's just you know I'm using them wrong maybe they're not intended to go over this stuff but um, I'm a little ticked off spending around five six seven bucks for these things and they're not worth it um, so yeah if you have any advice about paint markers let me know and again my little tool bag here is just a Stanley tool bag that I use for my art bag. One thing I forgot to mention about um, the bag here is that it does have wheels on the bottom and also has what I call the sissy bar so you can drag it behind you. And uh, this bag is actually, I put a couple of magazines and stuff in here too to read. And once you get everything put in there, it is pretty heavy. And I've had the back part here has got some metal braces to it. And I've had the corners of these things whale me in the back of the leg. And it hurt. <laughs> so, but anyways, it's a pretty good investment. And it's better compared to using the art bin that you can get like at Michael's or, or Blix. Because, I mean, it's plastic. You open them up and close them enough times, eventually they break where this is all fabric with a zipper. and It's uh, more durable, at least to my mind. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.
the ship you're into Is that the kind